Will and Jada deserve their failure. 28 years of lies. Now, I speak for everyone when I say, I always say this, but we love the amazing dynamic of Will and Jada Pinkett Smith have. I think personally, I, I need to, you know, I want to reflect my marriage in the future on them, really. I feel like it's a positive influence, right, to young men and women, really, to, to, to do this. This is how they should be with their partner. I think it's really, I think it's a really, and I think my whole chat agrees with that. I think everybody agrees with that, right? Will Smith took back shots. Yo, what the f*** are you talking about? <clears throat> but, uh... <laughs> Yo, okay, hold up. Before I start the video, we just got, we have to look at the, the book cover, okay? Bro, this is just terrible. Why would you... Why is this the cover? It's a bad photo, man. They should have done some Photoshop. Should have done something. The baby for real? <laughs> Let's just play the video. Bill and Jada Pinkett Smith were long romanticized in Hollywood as the perfect couple. They proved that it's possible <laughs> for two people to be incredibly successful A-list celebrities and mm. raise a stable family who all love each other. We now know that was all a no, lie. They really did. They had an amazing image. Like, hell when people wanted to reflect their relationships on them before. R their own relationship like them. Lie. The Smith family the was an image, turned. carefully crafted to look like the perfect family, while it was an utter mess on the inside. And over the past few years, all of their deepest secrets have been revealed to the entire world. Once you hear yeah, the Jada full story, love. your opinions of Will and Jada might change. Because we are going to dive deep and look at every detail that built up to one of the most catastrophic, confusing, and preventable marriages of mm. all time. Preventable? With the fact that Jada didn't want to be with Will in the first place. In 1994, oh, Will Smith was married yeah. to his now ex-wife, Cherie Zampino. They also had a two-year-old son named Trey. But Will was spending a lot of time with actress Jada Pinkett. And Trey is probably still they also had a two clown, bro. Will, you was worth millions of dollars and you got this. I hate clowns. Year old son. Oh my, what is that? Named Trey. But Will Where's was Trey spending now? a lot of time with actors. I think he's like, he started to, before, like, there was a controversy with Will because he wouldn't show Trey, which is like his son before Jaden and Willow. But like, now he's recently. At least in the past 10 years or something, but showing his son more. Jada Pinkett, despite having a wife and baby at home. Jada auditioned for a role out, in season bro. five of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which was arguably the most influential and popular 90s sitcom in history. Noted. The New York Times said The Fresh Prince had put rap into the mainstream. Every week, nearly 20 million viewers tuned in to see Smith and the Banks family, with a quarter of the national television audience watching at its peak. Jada auditioned to be Will's girlfriend, Lisa, and came close to booking the role, but didn't because producers thought Jada looked too short short when sharing the screen with Will. The role ultimately went to Nia Long, who was just two inches taller than Jada. Will tried to approach Jada to console her. She shrugged him off, but he says it was love at first sight. The two say Prison Will did not have up. an affair, but Will was head over heels for another woman that wasn't his wife. We mm. sat down at the baked potato and talked. There was a really unique, beautiful power. We had that moment, and we connected, but I was married. Funny enough, this wasn't well, the first- you know for a fact. <laughs> you know what she did. time will fell in love with someone that wasn't his wife he admits in his memoir that he fell in love with his co-star stockard channing while filming 1993's six degrees of separation will's unfaithful tendencies are not that surprising considering he was a six foot two 25 year old movie star television star and rap star but it was an early nah, sign he owned the world bro will literally owned the world like there's nothing that could have stopped him bro shit if that was me i probably have a crazy ego that maybe marriage wasn't for Should him. Should I have a crazy ego now? As a matter of fact, somebody random is getting timed out. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe if you don't let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. It was just random, okay? Damn, you're slubbed. Hey, Tings, man. I'm sorry, but you gotta get you gotta get timed out. My ego's taking over. You know what? Let me not do that, bro. Let me not do that. Will claims That's he never mean. would have divorced his wife Cherie if she didn't initiate it first. We were at the Palm and I remember I had to get up from dinner when I had a realization that I wasn't with the person I was supposed to be with. Damn. Will rushed to the bathroom in the Palm and broke down in tears. His marriage eventually reached a breaking point and Cherie filed for divorce on Valentine's Day in 1995. Cherie filed for a divorce, rightfully. She oh, called- That's cruel. You can never enjoy Valentine's Day after that herself my placeholder wife. She said that she just had to be there to hold the position of wife in Will Smith's perfect life. The most important takeaway from this is Will's willingness to remain in a marriage that he was not emotionally oh, no, invested in for the sake of maintaining his image to the world. 
something that would not change with Jada. Jada obviously was mm. interested in Will, but her own morality tried to convince him to fight for his family and make things work. However, Will proceeded with the divorce and contacted Jada the moment he signed the divorce papers, saying, I literally walked right out from signing the divorce papers and I called Jada. I said, hey Jada, what's up? It's Will. She said, hey, how you doing? I said, good, are you seeing anybody? She said, <laughs> uh, no. And I said, cool, you're seeing me now. And you know what? He had the power to say whatever he wanted to, bro. Because Will Smith was on top of the world. The moment is crazy. Will Smith was on top of the world. <laughs> See, if you're a regular nigga, you can't do this, bro. You, you, you watch me, you can't do this, bro. You simply cannot do this. Jada went along with it because her life was about to fall apart. Jada's mother, oh, wow. Adrian, became pregnant in high school and gave birth to Jada at a very young age. Growing wow. up in Baltimore, Maryland, Jada witnessed her mother endure domestic abuse from her father. One night it got so bad that Adrian temporarily fled from their home. Her parents' marriage was short-lived and they divorced after several months. As a teenager struggling to raise a child, Adrian dealt with a heroin addiction for most of Jada's childhood. I could tell when my mother was high. She couldn't make it on time to pick me up from school or she's nodding off, falling asleep in the middle of something. Jada's environment and upbringing- You just don't need to be a parent at that point. Like some people definitely do not need to be parents led to her encountering drugs, becoming a dealer at just 14 years old. She was living a double life, going to Baltimore school- She was a blood at 14? God damn. <laughs> drugs, becoming it's a dealer at just 14 years Definitely, old. She was living a double sad. life, going to Baltimore school for the arts during the day and dealing at night. Her mother eventually oh, wow. put her foot down and convinced Jada to clean up her act. Jada responded by graduating high school before enrolling at the North Carolina School of the Arts. She mm -hmm. dropped out of college after one Crips year to move to her. Los Angeles and pursue an acting career. Jada's talent and good looks landed minor roles in TV shows like 21 Jump Street and Doogie oh. Howser MD, before producer Debbie Allen gave her a consistent role on a different world, which blew her up. From there, she landed a reoccurring role in The Cosby Show, but her role as Ronnie, the love interest in Menace to Society, made her culturally beloved since hip-hop fans loved that movie. Jada successfully made it out of the Friends struggle, but she was still not happy. My career is popping. Mm. I got money. I'm hot. People are pursuing you. Sure. I got every dude <laughs> everywhere wanting it. You know what I mean? Like, I can have anybody I want. Why am I not happy? This is when Will came along, and she latched onto him, hoping that he would make her happy again. At that time, Will hadn't finalized his divorce with Cherie, meaning he and Jada kept their relationship under wraps. We were both pretty famous, and we felt like it just wouldn't have been a great look. They indulged in an unpredictable, secretive rendezvous that sounds like it was taken straight out of a movie. The couple traveled to exotic secret getaways, from Cabo to private Caribbean islands, Aspen, and secluded estates in Maui. Capitalizing on his success on The Fresh Prince, they so like that's some shit I'd wish I could do with my future lover, but it's not happening, bro. Shoot, instead of Cabo, we going to Burger King. Instead of, uh, where, where are they at? I don't know where this is, bro. Iceland? We going to Smoothie King. Aspen and secluded estates in Maui. Capitalizing on his success on The Fresh Prince, they took advantage of private air travel and regularly used aliases to check into hotels. We fit together so naturally, and our energies combined exponentially in a way that felt like old friends more than new lovers. We had an unspoken language, and everything we focused on flourished. This romantic adventurous fling would come to a screeching halt whenever the marriage conversation popped up. Jada didn't believe in a conventional marriage and despised a traditional ceremony. She also had questions about the viability of monogamy as a framework for a successful long-term relationship. Despite the obvious warning- Oh, so she was basically trying to, uh, she was trying to have, like, an open relationship. She was basically trying to, <clears throat> see, I can never do an open relationship, I'm sorry. I just, I don't have the willpower, I guess. ...sign of trying to settle down with a woman who does not want to, Will did not let that stop him. From an early point in their relationship, their suitability was questionable at best. But now Jada was pregnant, and Will's determination to get married overpowered Jada's personal beliefs. Like I never wanted to get married, Jada revealed. But my mother was like, you have to get married. She's so old school, and Will wanted a family. So I said, alright, maybe it's something I should do. Even Jada's grandmother called Will and cried her freaking eyes out so then i had to have a wedding and that was infuriating bro that's the thing like why do i don't understand parents that do that that pressure their kids to get married or do different things why do you want them to so bad i feel like they're just trying to fill in like into their kids shoes i mean i never had that problem i never had that problem like my parents never really pressured me to do that shit i guess we were getting to like the age of 40 or something 
According to well, Will, Jada just, held her ground as long ridiculous. as she could, but the wedding pressure, likely from family and friends, became too much. She was in her second trimester, she was tired and uncomfortable, and didn't want to argue, so she surrendered. And the couple married on New Year's Day in 1997 in a private ceremony in Baltimore, Maryland. However, everyone at the ceremony seemed- Getting married in Baltimore sounds like a nightmare ecstatic besides the bride and i was so I upset that i had to have a wedding yeah. i was so pissed the downfall. We, i we... went crying down the freaking aisle i'll get married yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cried the whole way <laughs> Bruh. oh my god this is such a terrible clip this is so bad their whole bro they got their kid there married yeah. <laughs> cried the whole Bruh, why is look at will Crying down the freaking aisle. I'll get married. Get yeah. married. Like, why are you so excited about this, my guy? Why are you so excited about this? This is why I don't even put all the blame on Jada. Because, like, what the f is Will doing? The whole way. <laughs> and I was down like, the aisle. I was like, hey. And Will was like, hey. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, she'll be all right. Don't worry. <laughs> Jada referred to the ceremony as Grammy's oh. wedding because Jada's grandmother was more excited than her. While the event itself was joyful Dude. and heartwarming, this would be the first of many compromises Jada would make over the years that painfully negated her own values. She had boarded the will train and there was no way off. But why was she so against the idea of marriage? I just never really agreed with the construct. Exactly. I just don't agree with it. I never have, I still don't. Yeah. Right. Till death do us part, is real for me. It's just all of the rules. Mark. <laughs> Look at this man's face. Bruh. Why do you do this to yourself, man? Like, this is so sad to see. Is this not sad to see? Like, I'm very sad. He's heartbroken. Why would you do this to yourself, bruh? You're Will Smith, man. You don't have to be at this conversation. And he's just thinking like what, I know for a fact he's thinking what his daughter is thinking about this conversation. Like thinking her own mother cried down the aisle. Oh my God. And it's like you're supposed ideas. to do this. Right. As a wife, you're you supposed know, to do yeah, this. As a what, husband, what, you're supposed what, to do this. Instead of right. really and what you just, can't do. Exactly. What you can't do. Right. right. Because of this title, wife, is a the very difficult. The, 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 the accepted conventional definition. Convention. I feel like she just wanted to, uh, she wanted to be an open relationship. Conventional definition of, of wife. wife. Right. The, really the yes. paradigm. I'm not that. Then Will goes on to say why he wanted a marriage so badly. I don't know if I've ever said this. You know how I'm a scientist, so everything is science for mm -hmm. me. Yes. I had read something when we first got together that the most successful men in history have been married. Right. I knew that I would squander my life if I was running around. Yeah. Right. Okay. Is that true? Is that true? I mean, I don't know about that, bro. I feel like the people with anything that are single that don't have to worry about, like, kids and stuff when they're older, they, they're able to work even more. I mean, you could say it's lonely, more lonely for them, but, like, shit. The way my mind works, I can only excel his bus for a woman. Up when the woman who does not believe in the basic fundamentals of a marriage gets coerced to marry a man who only wants a wife so he doesn't derail his perfect career, what could possibly go wrong? I'm having a lot of fun playing fantasy sports these days, and that's where today's season for me. So out, rep your team and make your own <clears throat> picks with Underdog. Okay. The couple welcomed their son, Jaden Christopher Sire Smith, on July 8th, 1998, and their daughter, Willow Camille Rainsmith, on October 31st, 2000. The perfect couple now has the perfect family, a little boy and a little girl. Will continued to dominate Hollywood with hits like Men in Black and the Bad Boy series, as well as Ali and I, Robot. But Will's perfect family needed the perfect home, a 256-acre mansion that Will desired but Jada despised. She expressed how it was God, too damn. big, too expensive, and too much space. I couldn't even imagine living in a place like that. But Will's dreams- I need to have a homey place, like, God damn. But then again, bro, like, should have had that type of money, I probably would. Couldn't be compromised, and he bought it anyway. Nothing bad good comes from spending your hard-earned money on a family home that your wife doesn't want. You are putting a down payment on Discord, and for years, you will be paying off a mortgage of misery, or worse. I forget Discord is an actual word. Why do I only think, like, when I hear the word Discord, <laughs> 
Think of something else. From the moment he stepped foot in Hollywood, Will made a deliberate effort to become the biggest movie star in the world, and he did achieve one of the most commercially successful runs in cinema history. Yes, Independence sir. Day, Men in Black, Hancock, I Am Legend, hey, Hitch, Shark Tale, Pursuit of Happiness are just a few of the multiple hundred million dollar franchises he starred in. Crazy. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air had truly transformed into the king of Hollywood, but his legacy extended beyond the silver screen. He ventured into producing films through his production company, Overbrook Entertainment, and continued to push the boundaries of his acting of career. Will became widely regarded as a highly skilled and versatile actor. His acting abilities earned him critical acclaim, numerous awards and nominations, and a massive fan following all over the world. By the 2010s, Will had solidified his name as one of the greatest actors of his generation. Jada and Will were seen as a beacon of real love in this chaotic industry, yet Will's career outshined hers so much that she was starting to be known as just Will Smith's wife, which is kind of what he wanted. Jada only appeared in low budget films. Bro, that's literally, I didn't even know she acted until. I literally thought she was just Will Smith's wife. I didn't even know she acted. Probably until this video. In Will's music videos, until landing more <laughs> substantial roles as Niobe in the Matrix series and Gloria in Madagascar. To make the resentment even stronger, Jada's children were becoming superstars in their own right. Willow's music career started off on fire with Whip My Hair peaking at number 11 on the Billboard Hot 100. Jaden starred in two massive box office hits, The Pursuit of Happiness and The Karate Kid. In 2009, Barack Obama accepted his Nobel Peace Prize, which was presented by the Smiths. And the only interview he would do was with Will and Jada. Externally, our family was winning, and there was a period- Let's be well, if you're, real, if you're Will Smith's wife, you're gonna be known as Will Smith's wife. But he wasn't big when they got together, or as big, he was big. Mommy woke up big. and cried 45 days straight. I started keeping a diary. You missed some days. <laughs> <laughs> it was every morning. I think that's the worst I've ever felt in our marriage. I was failing miserably. Dude, how would you admit? Ah, come on, bro. I'm just really thinking of Willow, because she's just sitting there, like, hearing her... Hearing her mother basically, hearing her mother basically saying she was crying through the wedding with, with their father, right? Hearing that she was crying for 45 days with the thoughts of different. Sh this is just terrible. But on the outside, I was winning. I didn't all know she of the voiced money, in Madagascar. Y'all didn't success know that. came at the cost of deteriorating their relationship. In his memoir, mm. Will detailed he and Jada's greatest argument that stemmed from a list of priorities each wrote independently, then shared with one another. In order of importance, Jada's priorities were the children, Will, herself, and extended family and friends. On the other hand, Will wrote himself, Jada, the children, and his career. Let's contrast these. Children, Will... I think most of the time your children should come first. Even with the person you're with, like, yeah. But I think most of the time your children should come first. I mean, myself? I don't know, bro. I don't know about that. Jada, like, it's complete opposite. <laughs> Here, right. Jada was devastated to read Will prioritize himself over Trey, Jaden, and Willow. He explained mm. that if he doesn't take care of himself first, he couldn't provide for the rest of his family. But the damage was already oh, done. Okay. Her heart That's was shattered. He she didn't even wipe the tears. Jada stuck around in this marriage that she never wanted in the first place so long because of her kids and the pressure to maintain the image created around the Smiths. On one hand, I wanted a career. I'd worked so hard and yet there I was, strung out on having to make decisions based on that and it was too difficult. Should I be a star? Should I be a mom? A wife? You can't be all three. Something has to give. Did you ever feel like Jada was ungrateful? Hell yeah. Look at everything that I've done for you. Yes. yes. That was another you thing. ungrateful. But that yeah. was the other thing because there were times I felt ungrateful. Because I was like, look at your life. Yes. Yeah. How could you be so unhappy. I used to think I was crazy. Right. Even Will's children realized they were failing. Oh Will recalled a moment where he was eating ice cream in the kitchen with his daughter and wife. Willow turned to Jada and said, It's so sad. Daddy has a picture of a family in his mind, and it's not us. This unstable relationship could not last. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, the more I see about Will, like, damn. <sighs> That's why exactly why I can't put all the blame on on Jada, bro. Like, to get to that point, for Willow to get to that point, you must have not been doing any fathering. And I mean, he was basically one of the biggest stars of all time. So, like, probably time. And in 2011, they reached... What the is Jada's jawline? Nah, Jada's been mewing. God damn, girl, what the hell? She's been mewing. 
tipping point. In August 2011, rumors began that Jada was having an affair with Mark Anthony, her co-star on Hawthorne. At the time, Anthony was the subject of many tabloids following his public separation from actor. Jennifer Lopez. However, Jada's rep released a statement saying, all of the rumors regarding Mark Anthony and Jada are false, but the straw that finally broke the camel's back was during Jada's 40th birthday celebration. Will had started prepping for Jada's 40th three years earlier. He invited hundreds of guests, friends, family, other celebrities to a weekend-long celebration in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Mary J. Blige performed, and the guests were in awe mm. of this beautiful celebration Will curated. But the three-year-long surprise was a documentary Will made tracing Jada's family lineage back to slavery. Will resurfaced unseen pictures, found family members, and found a recording of her late beloved oh. grandmother that she and her family had never oh, wow. heard before. These were very deep and personal messages from her grandmother that he broadcasted to hundreds of people at the party. The the entire okay. place is in tears. Her family, my family, everybody, all except Jada. She sat motionless, refusing to make eye contact with me. The video ends. Family and friends erupt in a standing ovation. That mm. night, Jada demanded that they cancel the rest of the weekend. Will said no, and she finally erupted. I'll cancel oh, tomorrow. Wow. She was like, it's my birthday! Yeah. Right? And she's told me that the party was the most ridiculous display of my ego. Ooh crushed right and to this day i know i was crushed. why is willow there please i can't look at this <sighs> oh my god like i understand okay jada's mother there but why is their daughter there listening to this dude if i hear my parents have this conversation i'm there i'm like damn bro it sounded more and more like shit i was almost gonna be a mistake like damn near crushed. this is so embarrassing was yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a party for her yeah and when she called me on that, that's when I snapped. And Years I later, Will admits he wasn't doing this gesture for Jada, but at the time, he couldn't understand what he may have done wrong. When they returned to Los Angeles, they separated, and he said to Jada, I retire from trying to make you happy. You are free. You need to go make yourself happy and prove to me that it's even possible. But I quit. <laughs> you go do you, and I'ma go do me. God damn, now that line was cold. I'm not gonna lie. It's a cold line. I gotta give him that. That was a cold ass line. They didn't file for divorce and they didn't. He basically out. said, Oh, wait, they're, they were still married? After all that, they were still married? I'm so confused because I know they got separated in 2016. It's to the public that they were separated. No, nah, after that finisher shit. Anybody says that to me that I'm with, I'm never seeing you again. Would cause confusion for years to come. According to Will, he and Jada didn't reunite romantically until November 2016, which would mean that they were technically separated from September 2011 to November 2016. Will and actress Margot Robbie began working together on the set of the crime drama, Focus. Insiders claimed Will and Margot were getting close on set, even skipping the rap party to hang out in Will's trailer. Star Magazine added fuel to the fire, reporting a photo booth incident where Will appeared shirtless, and Margot lifted her shirt to reveal lingerie. According to the source, Bro, can't even blame Will. I'm not blaming Will. Nobody's blaming Will. Will appeared as if he was not married. The public assumed he and Margot were either having an affair or that he and Jada were in an open relationship. We now know that he and Jada were separated. And in 2013, mm. Jada responded to the rumors, almost letting the cat out of the bag. He can do whatever he wants because at the end of the day, Will is his own man. This statement can't further confused the, the public who took it as confirmation of an open relationship. Jada later rewrote her statement on Facebook saying, Here's how I will change my statement. Will and I both can do whatever we want because we trust each other to do so. This does not mean we have an open relationship. This means we have a grown one. You don't have a relationship. If you both can do what you want, unless it's an open relationship, you gotta admit that. Bro, you don't have a relationship. You're not with him. You're not together. You're not talking. What do you mean relationship? A grown relationship. Margot addressed the rumors on Twitter. There's absolutely no truth to the ridiculous rumor in Star Mag. It's disappointing that goofing around on set could be this taken so no out of context. Their relationship remained estranged behind the scenes, but in public, Will and Jada continued showing up to red carpet events and award shows together hand in hand. To make things even this more confusing, weird. she said this on Queen Latifah's show in 2014. Jada would come into my trailer and tell me, girl, <laughs> she was in love. Yes. And still well, well. Well. And still are. Yeah. <laughs> Followed up by an interview on Howard Stern a few months later where she said, Here's what's real. I'm not the kind of woman that believes that a man is not going to be attracted to other women. I'm just not that girl. It's right. just not realistic, right? right? Right. And just because your man is attracted to another woman does not mean he doesn't love you. Right. 
He does, that does not, that's not what but it means, can't... and it doesn't mean he's gonna act on it. By this point, Jada had said enough to make everyone believe that they were in an open relationship, which would get even more complicated when Jada got into her infamous entanglement with August Alsina. <laughs> but before we jump into that, let me just clarify a few things. It's okay. important to understand that Will says they separated in 2011 after Jada's 40th birthday disaster, but Jada says they separated in 2016. That's a That's huge what I, difference. I thought in... it was 2016. We don't really know why they say two different things. Now in 2018, Jada and Will started sharing a lot of their life on social media. Will started posting vlogs on YouTube, and Jada started hosting a podcast slash talk show on Facebook called Red Table Talk, alongside her mother and daughter. Jada gave her hundreds of thousands of viewers insight into her life. God damn, bro, Facebook popping like that? 27.3 mil, 28.1, 11.4, 44.3 relationship and it was around this time when people how, how many women do you think on facebook bro there has to be at least just going by statistics at least like one percent that just believe jade jada pinkett smith is fully right and everything like she's all good I her hundreds of thousands of viewers it. insight into her life and on relationship facebook? and it was around this time when people started to realize the jada and will love was mostly a facade more specifically in episodes 11 and 12 which featured will accumulated tens of millions of views these episodes covered a lot mm. of the information that you learned in this video people were amazed at their open Mr. and honest Beast communication but they were talking about their relationship what? video people were amazed at their open and honest communication the smith family red table talk episode just beats everything i've seen i love this family i love their honesty i can't wait to see the next love the pureness and honesty thanks for sharing what the f this was an amazing conversation journey of insights and inroads unreal communication but they were talking about their relationship like they were divorced say. and they were also not wearing wedding rings they even say that they aren't married anymore they claim they are life partners and have redefined the <laughs> definition of husband and wife to fit their unique oh union God. june 21st 2020 was another episode where will and jada sat down and did another extremely deep dive into their marriage they laughed cried and seemed like the most normal version of themselves. And if you're confused, feeling, are they married? Are they separated? Are they divorced? That's literally how everyone else felt. But just eight days after Will and Jada- Bro, they just want to say divorced or something, probably because like, it brings so much bad press or news. That's what I'm thinking. Beautiful one-on-one -on -one discussion. A celebrity August couple, Alcina shared news about his relationship. And as big as they are, all the, that's all the news would cover, basically. With Jada, that would shock the world. Why are they I like this? I actually sat down with Will and had a conversation he gave me his blessing, and I, I totally gave myself to that relationship. Oh my God, bro. He basically said, here, here, my wife. <sighs> I never even seen this clip. Will actually might be certified, certified in cuckoldry. I don't know though. That's very rough. And I don't want to think that. Sneako before Sneako? I really don't want to think that, man, because Will's the GOAT. For years. I never seen this clip. And I truly and really, really deeply loved and have a ton of love for her august admits that not only did he fall head over and he also said you heard y'all heard that at the end right a ton of love i still have a ton of love for her he's basically saying i'll do it again to will he <laughs> he's basically saying i'll do it again for her August admits that not only did he fall head over heels OG into Sneeko. deep love with Jada, but he even had a conversation with Will about it and received his approval. This led to people calling Will a C-U-C-K, but others just looked at it as an open relationship. The discourse online about it made Jada There's a difference, bro, if she did it and, like, he didn't really know because they kind of have, like, this weird dynamic. He gave a blessing. You give a blessing, like, a dad gives a blessing to his... to... The person his daughter's going to marry or something like that to actually go through with the marriage like <laughs> uh, <laughs> they'll sit down on her red table talk show three weeks after august broke the news like said, where they 22. attempted to address all the rumors but it just got worse jada sits down in front of will and tells her all about her friendship with august hmm. august was a 23 year old up-and-coming r&b singer from new orleans creating straight up baby making bangers he had been suffering from a severe autoimmune disease that attacked his liver the illness led to multiple incidents including a collapse on stage in 2014 which ended up in a three-day coma in 2015, Damn. he battled a degenerative eye disease that nearly caused him to go blind. When he met the Smith family, through befriending Jaden, August was at a very low point in his life. Jada seemingly took her friend's son under her wing with the intention of helping him heal, but it progressed into a full-blown relationship. They also mentioned that August came into their life when Jada and Will were broken up. I really felt like we could be Baby over. making bangers? You yeah, know? no, and, we were over. And then what did you do, Jada? I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. As far as what? You and I 
decided huh. we were going to take our space and what happened. Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with <laughs> August. That's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how the future would change if she didn't say entanglement. Like, she just said she got in a relationship. I mean, it would still be bad, but... A relationship. Like, yeah. everybody knew she was trying to kind of devoid it. Like, not trying to say it was a relationship. Yes, it was yeah. a relationship. Or I don't know, they were buddies or something. Based on Will's tone and his demand for Jada to admit it was a relationship, oh, it seemed like he was still upset even though this had happened more than four years ago. Because I wasn't sure I was ever going to speak to you again. I know, I know. Yeah, like, the fact the that I'm speaking to you again is a, <laughs> is a miracle. Um, <laughs> I would agree. I would no, agree. No, but it ain't for the weak at heart. There seemed to be a little bit more pain in Will's voice. Will's obvious distress. I'll never forget the day after this came out. This is all you saw. All you saw. This became a huge meme online. Because again, nobody knew the long history of their complicated life partnership. All they thought was Will Smith's wife just got him on a podcast to tell him how much she loved another man. But there's a really interesting part of this interview that most people missed. I'm gonna get you back first. And then you gonna get me back. I think you've got me back. I think you <laughs> I think we're good on that, okay? <laughs> okay, that might that's probably true. Will jokingly said he is that's gonna That's probably true, so get her back. Will definitely Will was definitely with Margaret. I mean I would have should. I would have folded. But then immediately else. admits that he probably no had this coming after folded. all these years of Jada putting up with him. What he did not realize is that he would not stop being an embarrassment after this moment. It was only going to get worse. On March 27th, 2022, Will and Jada attended the 2022 Oscars together. That night, Will was nominated for Best Actor for his portrayal of Richard laughs. Williams in the biographical sports drama, King Richard. However, things took a strange turn after Chris Rock made a joke about Jada, who has spoken openly about having alopecia a hair slap. loss condition. Chris compared Jada to Lieutenant Jordan O'Neill, the star of G.I. Jane, notorious for her short buzz cut. But like, she kind of looked cool though, I don't know. Hairstyle. Will initially laughed, but then made it clear he didn't appreciate the joke as he stormed on stage and smacked Chris before telling him to keep my wife's name out of his mouth. From the silence of the audience and the look on Chris's face, this is, this is almost two years ago now, I think. Tom's seems like the reaction fast. was 100% unscripted. Fast. Despite this encounter, Chris didn't press charges, and Will won his first Oscar for Best Actor on the Night of Controversy. This slap ignited the highest overall engagements on Twitter in history, and basically <laughs> nobody was on Will's side. They pointed out he was initially laughing, then changed his demeanor once he saw Jada was upset. They used the entanglement situation to just Justify that Will is just Jada's puppet that does whatever she says. However, even Jada was mm. confused by what Will did and said because she is not his wife. I had no idea that that was none whatsoever. And I came as family. I actually didn't go to the Oscars as oh Will's God. wife. And I know for people that's weird. But what was going on behind the scenes, Will and I had been set, like, we. Uh, they should have. Uh, this is, it just makes it so much worse. Like, oh my God, bro. Why don't they, they should have just said they were, like, that's all it takes. They should have just said they were separated in the public. You weren't right. living as husband and wife since 2016. This was a crazy day in history. I was happy he asked me to go. The slap was clearly pent up anger from Will over the past 25 years. Jada never wanted marriage. Will wanted it, and everything went his way for the first 15 years. He got her everything he thought she wanted, the house, the fame, the money, the kids, but Will still didn't feel like she loved him. But Will was not going to get divorced again, as he saw his first divorce as his life's biggest failure. In my adult life. Yeah. Divorce was the ultimate failure for me. Yeah. I've been hurt a lot in my adult life, but I don't think anything touches the failure of getting divorced. He became desperate to make this marriage work, even though Jada never wanted it. Then once the 40th birthday situation didn't work, where he attempted to, to win back anymore. Jada's There's love. There's nobody to side in this whole... Bro, in their whole relationship, there's nobody to side with, pretty much. At first, you could have felt empathy for Will. I feel more empathy for Will, but there's just he said, too okay, many details. I've tried everything, and you still are not happy. We're done. Go be happy. 
But once she did that with August, he didn't like that either. And it seems like since then, Will has just been coping with this life partnership confusing half-open marriage thing. As he goes on podcasts talking about how marriage is a spiritual journey, and writing in his memoir about how his ego destroyed them, and Jada was just riding the Will train. Which was fine until he got embarrassed in front of the whole world with the entanglement situation and reading everyone Will calling him a C-U-C-K. Maybe the slap was him trying to, yet again, win back her love. Show Jada that he is her protector. No man is gonna talk about- <laughs> This man was not thinking, all right, well, this is the way to get my wife back. I'm gonna f slap him, slap him in front of everybody. Nah. Got my wife like that, only for her to say, wife, I'm not your wife since 2016, Ugh. and I never wanted to marry you. But today, Jada just keeps dumping salt on Will's wounds. She just released her memoir, Worthy, which spends a ton of time confessing a deep- Bro, get this cover off of my- <laughs> I just hate this cover, bro. I can only think of the the old the baby meme from like 2020. I can never take this cover seriously. I, I think I'll never, I never will. Deep love and admiration for her late friend, Tupac Shakur. Jada and Tupac met in high school in the 10th grade, but also went to college at the Baltimore School for the Arts. Jada says mm. they immediately connected on a deep level when he said to her, you're a beautiful woman, you're talented, you're strong, she have and I a better you. angle. And you are my girl. You're gonna sit right here and I'm gonna protect you. I'm gonna make sure if nothing else, you get what you need. At the time, Jada was still freshly removed from her traumatic childhood and rough neighborhood, while Tupac was still an innocent, bright-eyed kid who enjoyed studying, acting, poetry, and ballet. As time went on- Bro, it's kind of a crazy spawn that she was in high school with Tupac, and like she still managed to get with another super like iconic person just in Hollywood. Her roles reversed with Jada explaining how she was That's coming out of this luck. life and he was going more into the life. By the early 90s, Tupac left the East Coast for the West Coast with aspirations of becoming a rapper. As his career was beginning to take off, so was Jada's. We were always trying to look for opportunities to work together. It was because of Pac that I got menace to society, and we were always mm. looking out for each other like that. Now Jada says her and Tupac were never romantically involved, but the way she talks about him makes people think otherwise. We definitely had this beautiful closeness that was Oh my God, really bro. Intimate. No. But never physically intimate. When you can sit. <laughs> okay, bro. All, all right. Okay. See, I didn't see that clip. I didn't see that clip. I always see her talk. Oh my God, Tupac. I love. We all see it. But like, she really. It, it, does she really think the public is going to buy that lie? That's just. That's what I'm confused about. The public is not about to buy that lie that they weren't doing nothing, especially being in high school. Sit with somebody and really feel like they see you, they understand you, they care about you, and they're gonna be there by you no matter what. That was Tupac. Mm. But it's also important to recognize Dude, that that's Jada- that's like a letter you straight up write to the love of your life and nobody else. Has been talking nobody about else Tupac for Other years. To that was a huge partner. loss in my life. Absolutely, yeah. Because he was one of those people that I expected to be here. And my upset is more anger. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was beyond friendship for us, you know, as far as just, uh, <sighs> it's really difficult to explain because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, the yeah. type of relationship we had. Right. You only get that once in a lifetime, so. Yeah. A lot of people try to negate her relationship. Pac rolling in his grave. <laughs> I literally am holding myself back. I have to breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> with Tupac. But it was real. And even people who were close to Pac say that he felt a strong love for her as well. Jada Pinkett. Jada is my heart. You know what I mean? She would be my friend for my whole life. She can have my one heart, my, my liver, my lungs, my kidneys, my blood, marrow, all of that. But if you compare the way she talks about Will versus Pac, it starts to seem like Tupac truly captured her heart and Will could never live up to those standards. What made you fall in love with him? Um, I would say Will came um, at a time in my life where he saw beauty in me that I didn't see in myself at the time. And, um, you know, he so saw- So he was like her copage, like he, he was the cope, essentially. He was the cope and then once she coped with everything, she was like, damn. She wanted to throw him away, but it was too late. Diamond in the rough, and he kind of picked me up and blew she up all the dust and said, I'm telling you, I'm going to make you shot. She started dating Will after Tupac died, or after Pac died, yeah. Fine, yeah. girl. She <laughs> certainly did, looking at that rock. Right, I'm exactly. <laughs> and uh, I was going through a really rough time. And, um, you know, he, he, he created 
a space for a safe space for me. Nothing about Will's personality got her to fall in love with him. It was the stability he provided. But even Will admits that he was resentful of Jada's love for Tupac. Uh, were you ever jealous of the love Jada had for Tupac? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were oh gonna say no. Oh my god, <laughs> that dude. Let me like, and you know, and that was in the that was in the early days. She just loved him like he was the image of perfection. But she was with the Fresh Prince, you know. <laughs> so it was like. I, I just, I never could, like, even we were in a room together a couple times. I couldn't speak to him. Father you may know, be asking the wildest and, questions. You know, he wasn't going to speak to me if I wasn't going to speak to him. But. Really? He also wrote in his memoir, I hated that I wasn't what he was in the world, and I suffered a raging jealousy. I wanted Jada to look at me like that. Oh, my God. Oh, my. This is a villain statement right here. This is villain. The thing is, his plan worked. His plan fully worked, because eventually, you know what I'm saying, he got her. But at what cost? At what cost? Even Will's daughter was aware of how much Tupac meant to Jada. In 2012, when Willow was 11 years old, she posted a picture of the letter she Don't had Don't show the letter. Oh my god. Bro, I barely even said anything this whole video, like... Previously written to Tupac. The letter read, just, Dear Tupac, I, I know you are alive thing. someplace. I think my mommy really misses you. Can you please come back? Can you come back so mommy and me can be happy? I wish you were here. I really do. Love Willow. Many people consider Jada to be toxic, ungrateful, and unappreciative of Will That's Smith, who is perceived to be a great man, father, and husband. Some people say Will is a pathetic coward who constantly lets his partner publicly <laughs> embarrass him. Will knew what he was getting into. He knew all about Tupac. He knew Jada didn't want marriage, yet he mm. still pursued it. And she rode for him for more than a decade. Now today, I guess they're separated. I mean, I think. They've made it very clear that they are never going to file for divorce. But that doesn't- Nobody knows what they are right now. Like, I don't even- I don't even know at this point. Doesn't mean that they're still together. They're new- Because they still be together. They still be together in videos. Found confusing life Story partnership as well. I don't even think they know what it is. One thing that is very apparent about these two is they use this relationship to prophesize themselves. Them opening up about their marriage is somehow seen as more brave and more complicated than any of us since they are rich and famous, which to some degree is true, since millions and millions of people indulge in their marriage. But all this does is one- I think there's, there's a lot of celebrities that are in re celebrities' rela relationships and it's, it's simply not like this make them more money, and two, fill their egos to the brim thinking that they have some divine purpose to open up on behalf of all of the broken relationships and marriages in the world. Ironically, I think most- Bro, they just had too much pressure from everybody saying they had the greatest relationship in Hollywood, this, this and that, like, they had too much pressure and then it all, like, eventually blew up. The people who made it, it all is. the way to this point in the video agree that they do not, under any circumstance, want the type of relationship that Jada and Will have. No, what the hell? I'm disliking, bro. That's completely wrong. I actually speak for everyone when I say we do want... I'm kidding. I'm liking it. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know. In conclusion, <clears throat> let's all strive for this relationship in the future, okay? Let's all strive for a Will and Jada Pinkett Smith type relationship in the future. He definitely sold. Uh, oh yeah, also, if you're watching this on the tube... Join the Discord. That's it.